Access to diverse, nutritious, and safe food is every person's human right. Food safety is a very key component in promotion of the people's health and human development. At all levels of the food systems, there is need for optimal food safety handling procedures to enable maintenance of the food safety. Basic food sanitation and hygienic practices at different stages of food handling can greatly protect people from food-borne illnesses. Kabarole Research and Resource Center, in partnership with Kabarole District and Fort Porto Tourism City, with funding from HIVOS and Health Food Africa, conducted a study of food markets, including street food preparation, abattoirs, food kiosks, restaurants and hotels in Fort Porto Tourism City to understand the food safety situation at the different food handling points. The study revealed that the food consumer populations of Fort Porto Tourism City, Kabarole District and the neighboring are at high risk of foodborne illnesses and food poisoning. The findings revealed a high risk of food contamination because food was found to be prepared, served, and sold in unhygienic environments. Some of these unhealthy considerations included placing food on unclean surfaces or directly on the soil, selling food in dirty places or even next to garbage composting sites, using dirty hands and equipment to touch or process food, having food in unhygienic conditions such as having food near latrines, animal breeding, or feeding places, among others. Cooking, serving, or preparing food in unhygienic environments, including poorly drained places. Slaughtering animals in substandard abattoirs with poor sanitary facilities. There is an urgent call to all food handlers to adhere to the food handling protocols to ensure maintenance of food safety for human consumption. There is also need for the city and district authorities to administer adherence to food handling regulation to save the population. The city leadership should ensure that appropriate measures are put in place to maintain the sanitation and hygiene in the markets and all food service outlets.